Okay, so this will feel, this will start very similarly to the problems you've already done before. Um, the reason I know that is because of the word initially. So I see the word initially, I start doing an ice chart using molarity. Um, something you'll notice that's different is we're given a KC value. So you'll see why in a minute. Um, so for my ice chart, four moles of HI in a five liter, so four divided by five to get molarity, moles divided by liters is 0.8. That's HI initially. That's all it gives me. So this is a situation where I can assume the other initial values are zero. If they're not mentioned, I can assume it's because I don't have anything, have any of them. So those are my values. Um, then I normally say one side's positive, the other side is negative. It doesn't matter mathematically, but it makes more sense if the side with zeros are positive, because you can only go up from zero. The, side, the other side will then be negative, and the coefficient becomes the exponent. Um, but normally what you're used to is having a number in one of these spots so that you can then set up that, that like equation and solve for x. I don't have any numbers here. So what I say is pretend that you did. If I were trying to figure out what goes here, if I had an x value, I would type in my calculator 0.8 minus 2 times that x value. That expression, 0.8 minus 2 times that x value, is what I'm going to write as my equilibrium. Since I don't have any numbers, I can actually plug in. 0 plus x, I could write 0 plus x, or I could know that that's just x. And 0 plus x is also just x. Then, if I were going to do an equilibrium expression, products over reactants, again, you get a point for writing it with no numbers, no x's plugged in. I can now plug in my equilibrium values, even though they have x's. I'm going to plug these into my equilibrium expression. I can never plug initial values in, so those values should not appear in my equilibrium expression. H2 is x, I2 is x, HI is 0.8 minus 2x, and my expression says to square it. I also know that Kc is equal to 4. Now, this looks ugly and messy, and there are times when we have to solve it in an ugly, messy way. But there are times when you don't have to, if you realize. x times x is the same thing as saying x squared. And we already, on the bottom, have 0.8 minus 2x squared. And it doesn't really matter what they're equal to, because this is a number. I can do anything in a calculator with a number. But when the numerator as a whole is squared and the denominator as a whole is squared, a nice shortcut to get rid of the squared is to square root. As long as I do that to both sides, I can. Um, now, four square roots nicely, but if it didn't, if we're a number that you don't know the square root of, you can still do that in your calculator. Regardless of the number, you can take the square root. So square root of four is two. X squared, square rooted, is just x. And 0.8 minus 2x squared, square rooted, is just 0.8 minus 2x. Basically, I cleared out the squares. But I did so by using a square root. Some people cross those out like I just did, and they forget to square root the other side. You can't do that. So moving over here so I have more room. I have 2 equals x over 0.8 minus 2x. At this point, my advice, put this over 1 and cross multiply. x times 1 is x. And then the 2 is going to have to distribute through. So x equals 2 times 0.8 is 1.6. 2 times negative 2x is minus 4x. I don't want to get cut off here. Sorry, this is getting messy. Adding the 4x over, this is 1x. Plus another 4x gets me 5x. Then I can divide by 5. 1.6. Divide by 5 gets me point, oops, point 0.32. So if you need to pause, rewind, rewatch that for how I filled out the ice chart and found x, once I have x, I can go and answer those two questions. So I'm going to erase this. Okay, so I know my x value is 0.32. 
the first thing they want are all the equilibrium values or the equilibrium concentrations, meaning I want to know what these answers actually are. So plugging 0.32 in here, I get an answer of 0.32 for I2. I get an answer of 0.32 for H2. And in my calculator to figure this one out, I would do 0.8 minus 2 times 0.32. which gets me 0.16. So all of these, 0 0.16, 0 0.32, and 0.32, those are my answers for part A. Part B, percent turn to product is not a formula I give you because I want you to understand what the words mean. Um, in general, anytime I ask for percent, we're talking some part over some whole times 100. Right? The percent you got on the test is the percent you got right, the part you got right, over all of the total points times 100. Here, I'm not looking for a percent that I got on the test, the percent correct on a test. I'm looking for the percent of what turned to product. So these are my reactants, these are my products. If you ask yourself which one turns into product, reactants turn into products. Products are made from the reactants, but they can't turn into themselves. I'm taking these ingredients, these reactants, and I'm turning them in to products. So, of all of the reactants, the initial value of reactants, that's how much I could have potentially reacted to make our products. I didn't react all of it. In fact, I still had 0.16 left. Of all of the 0.8 that I could have turned into product, I didn't turn 0.16. So it's about 0.6. In fact, if I actually do subtraction, 0.8 minus 0.16 gets me 0.64. So what I did there is I said, well, of the 0.8, I was left with 0.16. So 0.64 is the part of this 0.8 that actually turned into the product. So some people remember this as the initial minus the equilibrium. You'll also know a different way of finding it is just taking the change row, ignoring the negative sign. So 2 times 0.32 um, times 100. So 0.64 divided by 0.8 times 100 gets me 80%.